Arkham Knight isn't just the name of Rocksteady's new Batman game, it's also a new character. He's a militaristic, violent version of Batman who uses guns, dresses in high-tech battle armor, and has a distinctive Arkham A on his chest. But who is it under the Arkham Knight's mask? The internet has gone nuts trying to figure it out, so we've rounded up the seven most popular theories and rated them for believability. So look out for spoilers for Batman Arkham Asylum, City and Origins, as well as Red Dead Redemption, weirdly. Uh, also, Arkham Knight, I guess, if any of these turn out to be true. To the Batcomputer! I mean Reddit. Y yeah, Reddit. Arkham Knight developer Rocksteady Games has said that the Arkham Knight is a completely original character designed in collaboration with DC Comics. But then the producers of The Dark Knight Rises also said that Marion Cotillard wouldn't be playing Talia al Ghul. Hey, spoilers! They lied right to our face! <laughs> Batman people can't be trusted, is what I'm saying. Okay, for the sake of argument, let's say that the Arkham Knight is a new character. The character hasn't appeared before, it's a new character. Let's also say that there's someone inside the suit. Does the new character thing have to apply to them as well? Well, this would be a short video if we said yes, so let's say no. Why would Rocksteady hide the character's face if it's someone we wouldn't recognise? And why are they being so evasive about the character? Look, watch Dax Jin from Rocksteady completely avoid the question when we asked him last month. It's been really exciting for us, kind of, th that opportunity doesn't come along very often to design a character that you are including in Batman's world, and, and for, for him to be such a significant part of the story of Arkham Knight and the Arkhamverse, uh, it's just such a thrill. The, the creative energy that's going on at Rocksteady right now, and that has been going on since we finished Arkham uh, City at the end of 2011, it's just been such a wild ride. Creative energy, right. So if we're working on the assumption that while the Arkham Knight may be due, the person inside the suit isn't, who's next on the list? The Joker is dead. Is he? Dead? Yeah, yes. Is he really? Yes, he is. Really? Yes. Are you no, sure? look, look at this. <laughs> Joker is dead. See? Super dead. Yeah, alright. But a little thing like the Joker being dead isn't stopping people from theorizing that under that mask and those glowing eyes lies the grinning face of the clown prince of crime. I could watch those two all day. What a riot! And speaking of riots, here's a bit of civil unrest I cooked up just for you. The first concerns the Lazarus Pit, you know, the magic pit that brings people back to life that Joker dies right next to at the end of Arkham City. Get out of my way, bats! I've got a date with immortality! Yes, Batman explodes the hell out of it, but who's to say that stops a Lazarus Pit from working? Can you even stop a Lazarus Pit from working? Jane, I'm asking you a question. Okay, this is the first theory. Joker, I don't know, rolls down a hill into the Lazarus Pit, comes back to life, gets a militaristic battle suit, becomes Batman's equal in hand-to-hand -hand combat and acts not at all like the Joker. I'm not convinced. Second theory is more plausible. In this, Joker is still dead, but he appears as part of a fear gas-induced hallucination from Scarecrow's fear gas. Now, this makes more sense. We know that Scarecrow is one of the primary antagonists in Arkham Knight. Here he is menacing the people of Gotham, the bag-faced jerk. Gotham, this is your only warning. Abandon the city, or I will unleash your greatest fears. Secondly, the hallucinations caused by Scarecrow's fear gas play on a person's deepest fears, regrets and self-loathing. Batman feels responsible for Joker's death, mainly because he caused it, so a Joker that's a reflection of the dark side of Batman, an embodiment of all the worst parts of his psyche, makes sense. Unfortunately for that to be true, you'd have to be spending most of the game fighting something that isn't there, and that would be rubbish, wouldn't it? Yes it would, Arkham Origins. Tell me, Batman, how will you defeat the phantoms of your mind? You may have missed Hush in Arkham City as he was part of an optional side quest in which you track down serial killer the Identity Thief. When you do track him down, it turns out to be Dr. Thomas Elliot, aka Hush, who stuck a load of corpse parts to his face so he can look like Bruce Wayne. It took time, of course, to find the perfect donors, to graft on the flesh, and finally to lose myself in order to create this. I'd be pretty offended if I was Bruce Wayne. Anyway, that's about as far as he gets with his evil plan before dropping the video game equivalent of, well, see ya, and wandering off. But it's time for me to leave now. Pray we do not meet again. Next time, I will not be in such a generous mood. Clearly we have unfinished business with Hush. Whether he's the Arkham Knight is another story altogether. The main reasons for suspecting Hush is that the Arkham Knight uses guns and is someone who wants to emulate Batman, both of which are entirely in this universe's Hush's M.O. 
Hush is also super wealthy, so he could use his money to buy the Arkham Knight's armour and gadgets, uh, although going to such lengths to give yourself a Bruce Wayne face and then hiding it under a mask doesn't make a huge amount of sense, unless it's part of a wider plan to frame Bruce and ruin his life. Plausible. Azrael's another guy you might have missed if you didn't do the Arkham City side quests. This guy looks kind of like a rejected Mortal Kombat character. Azrael shows up when you complete the Watcher in the Wings side quest and goes on about prophecies while Batman makes bitchy comments. But you will come to know me as Azrael, loyal servant to the Order of Saint Dumas. Just what I need. Another secret society. Shade. Anyway, he predicts Batman's death, or at least that Gotham will burn and Batman along with it. But is he the Arkham Knight? Well, he's the right build, he seems to already have a bunch of gadgets, and without getting too into the various Azraels who have been in the comics, one Azrael even takes over from Batman when he has his back broken by Bane in the Nightfall story arc. In that story arc, Azrael dons a high-tech battle suit and becomes a more violent, merciless version of the Dark Knight, willing to kill those who oppose him. Where have I heard that before? Oh right, it's exactly the Arkham Knight. He's also got that Knight's Templar cross on his outfit in keeping with the Knight theme, so another strong contender, although maybe a bit too obvious. Quincy Sharp is another popular solution for the Arkham Knight's identity. This is the erstwhile warden of Arkham Asylum, then mayor of Gotham, and then, I guess, brainwashed by Hugo Strange, hung off a building by Batman, and arrested by the GCPD. It's worth pointing out here that Quincy Sharp is both insane, believing himself to be possessed by the spirit of Amadeus Arkham, and a serial killer who believes murder by him to be the best cure for being insane. He also wants to save Gotham by purging it of the criminal element, and has a military background, albeit a failed one. Then there's the A on the Arkham Knight's chest. Also, there's the fact that Sharp's an original character created for the Arkham games, which makes him a viable candidate if you look again at Rocksteady saying the Arkham Knight is an original character. Hmm. The only problem is, as you may have noticed, Sharp is an elderly fat man and probably couldn't even fit into the armor, let alone do all the acrobatic splits and backflips you need to be able to do to fight the Batman. The current fan theory is that the Arkham Knight is actually a robot controlled by Sharp. Again, he's wealthy and has connections, so it's a possibility. Sharp was pivotal to the events of the first two Rocksteady Arkham games, so it's reasonable to assume that he'll turn up in Arkham Knight. Whether that means he'll turn up in control of a militaristic battle robot that looks like Batman is another question altogether. One for the maybe pile. All right, here's a popular theory. The Arkham Knight is Jason Todd. Who's Jason Todd? He was the second Robin. Um, then he was killed by Joker with a crowbar. And then, he, no, he came back to life. He became like a bunch of different murderous vigilantes. Uh, Red Robin, he's like usually the Red Hood. Just, he was Nightwing, I think, for a bit. Batman, he's just everyone at some point is probably Jason Todd. Like Azrael, Jason Todd is someone who once took over from Batman and decided that what Batman's crime fighting technique was missing was guns, murder, and an armored faceplate. A bit like a certain knight I could mention. The Arkham Knight is who I'm referring to, in case there's any confusion. Another strong contender then. The only problem is that Jason Todd hasn't appeared in the Arkham series at all yet, so it wouldn't exactly be a big reveal moment for the mask to come off, and the vast majority of the audience who haven't spent the last 20 years reading the comics go, who? Tim Drake, the third Robin, is the Arkham Universe's Robin, so the chronology technically could work, but it doesn't really earn itself as a reveal with zero set up in the previous two games. I'm not convinced. The final theory we're going to dignify with a response is that the Arkham Knight is a member of the Wayne family. The first candidate is Damian Wayne, who is Bruce's son with Talia al Ghul, who became the fifth Robin. Are you keeping count here? I'll get into the hospitals and come back. You need my help here. I can handle it. You're needed in Gotham. Yeah, f off, Tim. The main reason for suspecting Damian seems to be a tweet from retailer Best Buy, which reads, Masked as Bruce Wayne's son, drive the Batmobile and defend the city from notorious villains. Now don't get me wrong, I love leaping to completely unfounded conclusions, but this tweet and theory aren't convincing. First, there's the fact that the phrase, masked as Bruce Wayne's son, makes zero sense. Then there's the fact that it's from Best Buy, and what do they know? Not when it's appropriate to use an ampersand, that's for sure. That said, a lot of people think that Rocksteady planned to kill off Batman at the end of their trilogy, something that would stop you being able to free roam and explore the city after you finish the story, unless of course you have the main character's son take over, like in Red Dead Redemption for example. Remember how great that was? My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. No one likes you, adult Jack. Also, there's the fact that the trailer released for Arkham Knight focuses heavily on father and son themes, with Bruce's father Thomas Wayne featuring prominently. My deepest regret is I will not see you grow into the good man I know you will become. 
So prominently, in fact, that some fans have surmised that this means that Thomas Wayne is the Arkham Knight, despite having been dead for several decades. Father, you should have stood up to him, son. Like a man. Okay, looking to the comics, there is an alternate timeline comic where Thomas Wayne becomes Batman after his son Bruce is murdered, uh, but is a much more violent, merciless version of the character. That's literally it though, there's no other evidence to suggest that Thomas Wayne is under the Arkham Knight's mask. Unless all that stuff in his will telling Bruce not to use his money to buy a rad car was to make him easier to fight in the future. Clever, Thomas. Clever. Do not be frivolous with this wealth. Please do not waste it all on fast cars and outrageous clothes and the pursuit of a destructive lifestyle. So those were the seven most intriguing theories as to the Arkham Knight's identity. Which one do you subscribe to? Speaking of subscribing, you can subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. The current fan theory is that the Arkham Knight is actually a robot controlled by Sharp. Again, he's wealthy and has connections, so it's a possibility. Is it though? Like a robot? It's not, yeah. Does I don't. Does it look like a robot? Well, you can't see any, anything of it really. Does that kind of technology even exist in that Batman universe? There's ro robots, yeah. yeah. Like perfectly humanoid robots that yeah, look like Batman. They were like the old timey robots in Wonder Cities, remember them? That's true. What well, could be one of them? The, uh, the stuff in the, uh, the Wonder Tower. Yeah. yeah, right, exactly. They were like old timey robots from the past. Yeah. Could be one of them. stuff that they didn't turn that into like a proper mission. You just sort of Maybe that's what they're doing with this. Maybe. Huh? Although the Wonder Tower's been exploded. Like the entirety of... Uh, Maybe the explosion like catapulted a robot out. They so. salvaged one robot. <laughs> and Quincy Sharp like dragged it back to his house and <laughs> did it up with screwdrivers.